Hello everyone, I'm back again, this time with a journal share. Um, this is a journal I'm calling Ella. Um, Ella is an eclectic sort of five by eight, five and a half by eight, uh, 64 sides um, and pretty full, this one. It's cardstock over fabric and I've used some white chiffon uh, ribbon here to tie it on the ends. There we go. Let's have a look inside. I've got a Tim Holtz book plate um, and I've just done a little bit of the another piece of the a card in there. So there's no title with this one but uh, I think that looks quite pretty. Let's do it out so you can see the spine is reinforced with fabric and is stitched. Um, I've got a little bit of glue on the back here um, I have tried to rub that off, but uh, sadly that is there to stay. So if that bothers you, um, it doesn't bother me, but it might not be for you. This is quite subtle colours in this one, but I really liked this slightly darker um, muted uh, take really on a journal. And it's also quite stiff because it's so full. You can see how it's... So in the front pocket here, um, I've just got a tag I've put together from the Edith Holden page and really just to pick the colours up, that's on card. This is a book page and there's a little dangle here, a uh, tiny little, um, I need to twist this back, tiny little um, be bevelled, what they call this, bezel and um, a little tab that I've made. Is a bit of sari silk that was frayed. I've just stitched down the side there. Um, this vellum pocket, I've got some vintage um, handwritten paper here and this is probably a Tracy Fox label. And then in the pocket there's a page from a child's or a, a French exercise book. History maybe? Um, this is so some vintage book end paper from a book and I've just put um, a picture of a rose on there and this is a photograph, um, this is Ella, I really liked this photograph, she's actually in, I think they used to call these a bath chair, it's sort of an early version of a wheelchair um, and being wheeled round a garden I think, um, probably in the late 1800s I guess that one. So that's in that pocket. This is some um, from an old notebook. This is uh, an original document. Um, I haven't got a date on that but it's nice thick paper. And on this side um, I've just done a little collage with some vintage writing paper, a Tracy Fox label and this is from a 1940s um, advertising brochure for a pier, Winter Gardens at Morecambe, and I've popped this pretty page from Edith Holden and one of these um, cigarette card tags just in there. Some stenciling. This is a pocket made from some piano roll paper and I've put some fussy cutting on the back here and I've just pinned these together. Um, book page tag this is a page from that um, little topography um, early atlas that I've showed you in other videos. It um, describes the route from Guildford to Reigate as a good service throughout, but there is a dangerous hill two miles west of Dorking. The road is up and down, but very picturesque. And then there's another cigarette card. Um, this time it's the brown hair. I really like hairs. Um, I was tempted to hang on to that, but can go in this one. This is uh, an old book page. Um, sketches. Oh gosh, I can't remember. He's the guy that did the Keeble Martin, the guy that did the new concise British flora. This is from the book of his sketches um, that that book developed from. And on this side, I've pinned 
a page from 1877. This is from a Victorian um, scrapbook or autograph book. It's all falling apart. I've added this bit just to pretty it up. Um, and this is the original handwriting, June the 22nd, 1877. That's on there. This is from the um, Sarah Midden book, um, In and Out of the Garden. There's a bit of ruffle on the bottom. And this is just folded over, just so that you can see the whole of the page. And this is vintage book page, and this is women and munition work. I can't remember what was here. There was something, maybe a book page number or something I didn't really want on there. So that's that one. This is from a calendar, obviously a more contemporary calendar, but an old from an old photograph. And these little chaps with all their different expressions. There's a little bit of um, moulding paste up there. This is a pocket made from the Edith Holden page and in it we've got a um, vintage magazine page, an envelope from 1953, there is a letter in that one, and a little um, library card. Hear the dog next door. It's just they've just left him, and he howls for a little, a short period of time. Um, hopefully, that's not disturbing you. Another pocket, not pocket, a belly band on this side. Um, this is a bit of vintage wallpaper, um, and I've made a little journal card from an illustration. And this is a vintage postcard. There's no um, postmark on this, but it's from. Uh, 1912. Pops in there, it's quite snug. This is a genuine vintage document and on this side I've just added um, a little dangle with a flower fairy, some bits and bobs really and a little bit of sari silk. This is from an old ledger, 1921. Another pocket here with some ledger paper from 1937. This little document from um, 1919. And another postcard. This one is from 1916. It's addressed to Mrs Pierce, maybe that's Ella. fabric pocket on this page, another of those dangles um, and in this pocket just a few. There's a computer card, um, a tag that I've put together, this is from an old receipt book and this is um, a vintage dominoes card. And those just pop in there. Obviously more ledger paper here. A pocket here, there's a quote, I've put a quote on there. Um, a receipt from 1937 and this is um, a vintage flower fairy from the 1920s at least the book was the 1920s uh, I've made an envelope to go over this page some lace down the side um, and in here because it's a bit bright for the actual journal, but is quite interesting, I think. Royal Bell Works, um, French document from 1946. So that's just hidden away in a more um, subtle envelope, which I've made from a magazine page. Just spits over the top there. Here we've got um, a little fabric. This is from a christening dress, some contemporary lace, 
and a little slide and lace dangle there on this Edith Holden page, which obviously is the centre. Here's a little double pocket um, in the back. French knickers. <laughs> this was from um, an old notebook that I picked up somewhere that um, somebody had was for sewing patterns. They were making up their own sewing patterns. Um, and this is from a vintage Flower Fairy book. And in here I've just got a little um, card, a Tim Holtz portrait and a wine label just to add a bit of interest to that page. I've made an envelope here out of the, um, the end of a piano roll and I've just filled that with some note paper, vintage note paper. You can see the, I thought it went quite nicely with the um, color palette on here and then in this pocket um, there's another bit of fabric um, another quote and in here there is um, just the back of I don't know really where I get some of these for things from this is just an old um, travel Thomas Cook travel brochure this is a 1948 West End Pier brochure look these people up and see who they were and this is Lucy Tucky she's eight and a half in 1923 I think that might be Ella's daughter possibly you can make up your own story and this is a bit tricky because it's got to go right under there that's fine just a postcard with a little bit of um, on it. In this one there's um, a flashcard there, another magazine full page. This is a bit more of that article from women and munitions work. Um, I think that's from the First World War and another library card in there. Sticker, it's the other side of that calendar page, a bit more um, in and out of the garden, a bit more ruffle, another dangle um, and a bit more of that christening dress. I've added it onto the pocket here and then in this there is a, what's this one, a 1932 telegraph, telegram and a bit of a scrappy card I put together. Maybe I've filled this one a touch too full. Um, another French document. No date, but it's quite old. And another tag, sort of an upside down one this time, with the poem on the back. More lace. Got an envelope here. Um, double pocket. So in the back is a tag, fussy cut, and in the front um, a little cigarette card out of an album. And then on this back page um, I wanted something pretty and coloured and I had this um, book page from an old book, Girls Own Annual, um, and I've just folded it and obviously you can write on that. I've just folded it so that the um, centre picture sits on the back there. So that's Ella. I hope you like her um, and join me again soon. Thank you.